Last year's film Concussion with Will Smith has sparked debate about the safety of NFL football. People are now so worried about head injuries that they're actually pulling their kids out of NFL football clubs. To try and reduce the amount of concussions that we're experiencing and help solve the problem, a lot of scientific research money is being invested into NFL football. And that's great because NFL should be safer. But football is not the only sport where concussions happen. In fact, the majority of sports related concussions happen outside of the NFL. But these dangerous head injuries outside of football are getting hardly any attention from researchers because everyone's so focused on NFL football. And that's a real problem if we actually care about head injuries. Take for example, hockey. Hockey is the most dangerous sport for head injuries outside of football. In the 10 year period between 1993 and 2003, at least eight players were forced to retire from the NHL as they tried to recover from their concussions. But the true number of concussion related injuries in hockey is probably double this amount. We don't actually know because the NHL refuses to release its data to scientific researchers because of medical confidentiality. Researchers estimate that one out of every 83 kids that plays hockey will have a concussion in every season. So if your kid plays say 10 years of hockey as they grow up, there's a pretty good chance that they're gonna get a concussion at some point. Or take for example, lacrosse, another sport with a pretty significant concussion rate. Now lacrosse could be made safer, but female lacrosse players aren't required to wear helmets because female lacrosse isn't considered to be a contact sport. Even with helmets, almost one in five high school injuries from lacrosse is a concussion. So lacrosse again is a pretty dangerous sport if you're thinking about head injuries. Here's a sport you might not have associated with concussions, soccer. Now soccer is actually the leading cause of concussions in female sports. About one out of every 150 female soccer players will experience a head injury in every season. So again, if you play multiple seasons of soccer, and you're a girl, you're at a pretty high risk of getting a concussion. Or take basketball. In an 11 year study of concussions in basketball, the number of concussions in boys basketball doubled and in girls basketball tripled. These four sports, hockey, lacrosse, soccer, and basketball, haven't received anywhere near as much concussion related research and attention as NFL football. But that doesn't make them any less important or any less worthy of concussion related research. So really, if we're concerned about the safety of sport and reducing the amount of concussions, we need to be looking a lot further beyond just NFL football. But what do you guys think? Do you think there's any particular sport that deserves a lot more concussion related research and attention. I know my boyfriend was a high school wrestler and he had four concussions during his wrestling career and he blames a lot of his forgetfulness on those concussions. So let us know if you think there's another sport that deserves more research in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode so please click the subscribe button down below.